GSAP is a great library, but I was told in my comments that it is not the best way to animate things. So I made some research and discovered Framer Motion and React Spring. While Framer Motion looks very good, I found a tutorial of React Spring combined with 3JS. After spending 10 minutes clicking on this box, something very weird happened in my head. Hello, welcome to this new React Refiber tutorial. Today we will discover how to add life to our 3D experiences with React Spring. We will also use the Lamina library to create a good looking gradient material without shaders. If you are impatient to learn how to make stunning animated 3D scenes, let's go! Once you get the starter pack, run yarn and a yarn dev. You will have the scene without background nor animation, but with the models loaded. Go to Experience, we create a component named Background. It will be a big sphere, for the moment let's just make it red. We add side 3D backside because we want to see the sphere from inside and make it rotate around our scene. Add it to the experience. Now we can see the background is red and if we zoom out we can see our sphere. To create a gradient material we will use a Lamina library. It allows to add multiple layers inside a material to play with colors and effects without the need of creating shaders. Install it with Yarn Lamina. We replace the basic material with layer material and use the depth layer. It allows us to blend a color A and B together based on the parameters. We can see the blue fading to the red on the side. Create a reference to our mesh and animate it with use frame. We will increase both X, Y and Z rotation at the same time. Now our background is animated. We can add the noise effect to the layer material to make it more cinematic. To see better the effect, let's put the alpha to 82%. Okay, let's set it back to 42%. Time to jump into the animation of our carousel. With Uspring, we will get an object with all the variables we will define in from. So let's get carousel rotation from it. Set the starting value to zero. The two parameters take an object or an array of object if you want multiple steps in your animation. We will rotate from a quarter of circle for each. React Spring is physics based and not time based, so we can adjust the mass, tension and friction to create the desired realistic effect we want. We can set the loop to true to make it infinite and immediate to true. Let's add our carousel rotation to the rotation Y prop of our group. When we have animated values, it's important to use animated dot our object type. Get it from React Spring. Now our carousel rotates nicely, but we want it to stay longer on each step. We can add delay on each of our step. Now it will wait 5 seconds before moving to the next part of our carousel. Let's go to our podium to animate our animals. The principle is exactly the same, but this time we will animate the scale, position and color of the podium for each animal. Then we assign the dynamic variables we get from Uspring. But you can see our podium disappeared. It's because we need to add animated to our target groups, meshes and materials. Perfect. Now let's add this floating effect on the ship light. To do so, we just wrap our component in the float component from dry library. We can adjust the speed and float intensity to what we want. Now our boat is floating in the air. Let's jump to the burger. The animation is ready in the component. I just animated the position of each part of the burger. You can remove pose true. Our burgers are now animated. Now let's enable the canon animation. I added the candy into the canon component to act as a cannonball. We are only animating its Z position and opacity. The target stand in front of the cannon has a very simple X position animation. You can see the config I used is not a custom one, but one from the predefined one from React Spring. Let's also animate our hot dogs. I animated the ketchup and mustard bottle and once it passed over the hot dog, the sauce scale increased to fake it to be spread onto it. Sorry if you are hungry now. 
For the haunted part, let's make everything float. To be able to work on that part, we can change the from value of the carousel rotation and pause the animation. Scary, isn't it? Now let's enable the animation on the bookcase. It only moves its Z position and scale the books to make it slightly jump. Let's add some glowing to our cauldron. In the mesh containing the green liquid, we add a sparkles component from React Dry. It's small points of light floating randomly near our object, adding some life to our scene. Now let's jump into the beach part. Change the carousel rotation to this part. Let's enable the simple ice cream animation. We are changing the scale of the ice cream and rotating the hole to add more dynamism. Ok, now the volleyball. We will build it from scratch because for this one it's a bit different. Instead of building the animation values inside the use spring, we will define them later. We just want spring values that we will base our animations on that. So our animation will have two steps, from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 2. We need it to be able to choose which bunny will jump on the ball. So now let's define our ball Y position. We use the two method on our beach ball position spring value. The first parameter is an array of the spring values we want to cover, so between 0 and 2. And as our ball go back and forth, we want to animate every 0.5 value. It will go from 2 to 4 to 2 forward and 4 to 2 backwards. Now you can see in one cycle, it bounces twice. Let's animate the X accordingly. We only need from 0 to 1 to go from minus 8 to minus 3. And when it goes back on 2, we go back to minus 8. Perfect. Now let's make our ducks jump when the ball is close to them. For the first one, it's when it's close to 0. And for the second, it's when we are at 1. Let's assign the Y position on the ducks. Now our lovely ducks are enjoying a volleyball game. We're done, let's set back our carousel rotation to zero and resume it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's definitely not the end of this tutorial as I'd like to add some color correction to the model and add more life to it. But it will be in another video, so don't forget to subscribe if you want the next part. If you can't wait to learn more about React 3 Fiber and 3.js, I recommend you to watch this video here.